Okay, in this movie, I'm going to show the very basics on how you get started with the FME server um, notification technology. So what I'm going to do here is, in step one, this is the workspace I'm going to use. It simply takes what's ever published to a topic and writes it to a database. So through this, I'm going to show how we receive messages from the two mobile apps, as well as email, and um, any topic or any way that you can post information to an FME, publish information to an FME server topic will be put in this database. I'm using Google Fusion Tables only so that it's very easy for you to see the data. Um, anybody who has a Gmail account can do this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new um, role. Okay, so I'm going to do security. So what I'm doing here is walking through all the steps on how in an organization you would create new users who are isolated from other users for specific projects and things like that. So the first thing we do is we create a new role. So in this case my new role is going to be called safe tutorial author. Okay, and uh, there's no users right now. That's okay. Now we're going to set up the permissions for this particular role. Okay, so this role is going to be able to not manage engines, obviously, not manage jobs. I'm going to allow him to create repositories. I'm going to allow him to do scheduling. I'm not going to allow him to set security or create new services. Okay, I'm also not going to allow him to see any of the existing topics. He's only going to see the topics. Users of this role are only going to see topics um, that are created by users of that role. So um, services, we will allow them to see all the services. Okay, like that. Repositories, no, he's not going to see any. As far as components, all the components as well. Okay. Okay, and the applications. I'm going to give him all the applications as well. Okay, so there you go. I apply this, and now I've created a new role. Now what I'm going to do is create a new user, and the user is going to be of that role, but the username is tutorial author, tutorial author, and make up a password here, okay, and that user is of this particular role. I say OK. And so there you go. Now what I've done is I've created a user in a role. So now I go to Workbench and I'm going to publish this to the Workbench using this new user and role. I click Next. And you'll notice there's no repositories because this user didn't have permission to use any existing one, so he doesn't even see them. But I'll create a new one. And this new repository is going to be called Safe dash notification dash tutorial okay save notification tutorial workspaces okay like that I go okay I created it I say next okay it's pushing it up there now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually create a notification topic I'm gonna to configure the notification server and again he doesn't see any topic so I'm gonna create a new topic I'm gonna to call this topic safe dash notification dash tutorial okay just like that I say no to whoops tutorial notification topic very 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 uh, informative I say okay like that and now I say okay and now the finish publish and now the thing is ready to go so now I actually have set this thing up so now I'm able to use my mobile devices to publish to it. So basically what I've got here is I look on my drive, I have this, get rid of this, I have this file called notification tutorial dump, which is empty. Now I'm going to use my mobile device, my reporter app. Okay, the settings, right now you can see I've logged in here, there's the information. Okay, now the topic, I ch there's only one of course, I select it. Okay, and now I can simply by hitting this, I can drop a pin down and report the uh, the event. Okay, so now to see what that looks like, 
in my Google Fusion table using that simple workspace, now I see that event. It was a report event. Here's a location. It was from an iOS device. Okay, so what about FME Alerts? Well, FME Alerts is very similar, and you can see it here. Okay, I've connected to the server here. Okay, using that account, and then when I subscribe, what happens is I get a message. So there you go. I get a single message. Oh, save. Okay, and there's my message. Okay, that is my subscribe topic. Okay, so what if I unsubscribe? Okay, sorry, back here. Okay, so what if I unsubscribe? Okay, save. Okay, I've unsubscribed. I go here. I refresh. And now I have an unsubscribe message. Okay, so now what about um, reporting my update of my position? Okay, so I'm going to subscribe, so that'll give me another subscribe message. Auto report location is off. What I can do is turn it on, make it uh, this under disabled. Okay, so make that disabled and turn this to one second. Okay settings there you go one second and so now I should be receiving some messages one a second for this update giving me the new new position now obviously since I've located the disable the distance filter they're all going to be the same so let's have a look so now I go here and refresh and you can see I have a whole bunch of update locations and so there you go that's um, how you do do that so now what we'll do is we'll add email okay so all this through this very simple workspace okay so we're going to delete all rows again because we're finished with this so now what we're going to do is we're going to configure an email so this is tutorial author okay so this guy here is he looks at his notifications and he sees he has a single topic and he has a single subscription okay we're gonna create a new um, way to publish to server we're gonna call it email safe tutorial safe tutorial email okay oh I didn't check the protocol yet let's go email like that and now we're gonna give it a name safe tutorial that's gonna be and when an email comes in that we're gonna send it to safe tutorial okay so now I'm gonna to go to my account here okay well I better say okay now you see we have an email there okay that's published to this particular topic I go here and I'm gonna compose a new email safe tutorial and we're gonna have a subject so hi there and this is a test of the new tutorial example okay I'm gonna add an attach of an attachment as well so let's go to downloads here and we're going to find sure we'll pick this one here and open and we'll pick another one add and so i got some data there and so now i simply send this in okay that wouldn't matter but i'm just being fussy i send this in the message is sent i go to my notification example and now you're going to see my email and you can see everything that's come in so again this is the body of of the message that comes in so and again this was all driven by a very trivial workspace next what we'll do is start decoding the JSON so that we can actually see them better and then in the third step we're actually going to put this to a real database um, at like post just um, to get better performance thank you